Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are located around the world. Thank you all so much for joining Amtrak Vacations as today we're going to be talking about traveling to the U.S. National Parks on board Amtrak with Amtrak Vacations. First and foremost, let me just take a minute to introduce myself. I will be your host here today. And my name is Jim Marini, proudly been with Amtrak Vacations about six years and so excited to tell you all about some of our most popular rail vacations to the national parks. Today's presentation is scheduled to be about 30 to 45 minutes, give or take, with any questions that you may have. So I encourage all of you as I go through, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to type those away. I also want to encourage all of you to feel free to write down that phone number in the bottom right hand corner or contact your local travel agent to book any of these exciting trips. You can also visit us on our website, which is down in the bottom right hand corner, and that is www.amtrackvacations.com. Again, Amtrak Vacations, all one word, dot com. So with that in mind, everybody, again, we appreciate you being here, and I have some exciting news that I'm gonna share with you in just a minute. Uh, as I mentioned, again, feel free to type any questions, and that is located on the right-hand side of your screen. And also, we have a great handout that you don't want to miss downloading. So uh, that is also located on the right-hand side, and that's going to tell you more about this exciting flash sale. So here it is, folks. If you have a mobile phone, if you have an iPhone, or if, again, you have a paper and pen, please feel free to write this down. But starting today, literally today, as of 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time today, yes, folks, we have our latest and greatest flash sale. So for any of you that have been dreaming of traveling by rail across the United States in particular to the national parks, if any of you upgrade on any package that we have that you book with us or through your local travel agent, if you upgrade to a roomette, we're going to take $200 off per couple. If you upgrade to a bedroom, it's going to be even better. Folks, we're going to take $300 off per couple. And all you need to do is just pick up that phone, give us a call. Our agents are here waiting to help each and every one of you or contact your local travel agent. And all you need to do is book any time from today up until before the end of next week to take advantage of our exciting flash sale. And that's to travel anytime in 2019, to travel anytime this year. Now, it does need to be a new reservation, and it does need to be a package, which consists of three or more components. So what does that mean, folks? As long as it includes the train, a hotel, and a meal, that considers to be a package. Or if it's a train, a hotel, and a sightseeing tour, as long as it's three or more components, and it is a new reservation to travel anywhere, anytime this year in the United States, and you upgrade to either a roomette or a bedroom, you can take advantage of these additional savings, okay? I'm gonna highlight this a little more as we go through today's presentation. But for those of you who have never traveled uh, on board with Amtrak Vacations, or, or if you have, I always love starting out my presentation showing this exciting map of just all the fun places that Amtrak actually travels to. You know, last year, folks, over 31 million people, over 31 million people traveled on board Amtrak. Uh, in fact, if Amtrak was an airline, it would actually be the fifth largest airline in all of the United States. Interestingly enough as well, everyone, the train actually travels to 46 out of the 48 states within the continental United States. In fact, the only two states the train does not physically go through are the states of South Dakota and Wyoming. Otherwise, as you can see with all the different colored lines, that represents Amtrak. And also, if you look above the border, you also have the ability to connect into Canada on board Amtrak through the great cities of Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver, where then you could even board on Via Rail as well. Now, what makes Amtrak vacations different? You know, these are the top six reasons that we have compiled over the last few years of all of our travelers worldwide who have traveled on board with Amtrak Vacation. So I hope some of these are probably some of the same reasons that uh, interests each and every one of you. All the way to the bottom left, it is a bucket list experience. I can't tell you how many times I've had the pleasure of, of speaking or meeting uh, many of our travelers worldwide. And they always say, you know, Jim, that's one of our uh, 
bucket list uh, experiences. It's something on our wish list. So uh, certainly that is by far one of the most popular reasons why uh, Amtrak vacations, it makes our trips unique and special and different. Also, plenty of room to roam. In fact, folks, we want you to get up, walk around, stretch your legs, go to the observation car, the dining car. Also know that it's less hassle, which is the third point below. In fact, some of you may be aware of this, but did you know you can arrive at any of the Amtrak stations throughout the United States? And by the way, there's over 500 Amtrak stations that you can start and or end your trip. You can arrive there as close into departure, folks, as only 45 minutes to an hour. Now, as we know, when we fly, myself included, many times we have to arrive at the airports a minimum of two to three hours ahead of time not when it comes to traveling on board with Amtrak vacations. The fourth point is city to city service. Now, I always love using Penn Station in New York City as an example. Some of you may have been there yourselves. The station itself, everybody, just like many of the Amtrak stations, literally is located in the heart of the city. In fact, Penn Station in New York City, as an example, you are within blocks of Broadway. You are within blocks of Times Square. Well, the same applies to even some of our beautiful national parks, which I'll highlight in just a little little while. Glacier National Park, as an example, the Amtrak station, folks, is literally 209 steps away from the Amtrak station. So again, location, location, location. The fifth point is satisfy your hunger. Now, another reason you wanna take advantage of this flash sale, not only to save some extra money when you book any of the exciting trips that you have in mind, but also you will get all your meals included during the overnight journey on board the train, folks, okay? During the overnight journey on board the train. So whatever uh, meals are offered from the city you depart from until the city you arrive in, those meals will be included at no additional charge. Again, when you are booked into either a roomette or a bedroom. And last but not least, flexibility. We have daily departures, and in some cases, multiple departures daily. Now, one thing I always love mentioning with all of my presentations, and uh, some of you, again, if you've traveled with Amtrak Vacations, or maybe this is your first time that you're looking to uh, have a trip of a lifetime on board with Amtrak Vacations, all rail vacations can be customized to start from your local hometown Amtrak station. So what does that mean, folks? Any of these trips can be as long or as short as you would like. They can include as much or as little as you would like, and they can start and or end wherever you would like. Now, let me give you a, a couple examples. So if you look all the way to the left-hand side, this is our package called Rails to the Grand Canyon. It happens to be a five-day, four-night package that's round trip from Los Angeles. And let's say you want to add an extra night in the Grand Canyon. Well, we can easily add an extra night. And by the way, did I mention we can get space, folks, inside the lodges, inside the national parks. Folks, these lodges book up sometimes a year to two years in advance. We can get space inside the lodges. So whether it's El Tavar, Yavapai, Maswick Lodge, as an example, inside of the Grand Canyon, you can add an extra night. You can also add an extra night in Los Angeles. So that's an example of customizing a trip. Let me give you another example. Some of you may be interested in Glacier National Park. So here's a package called Glacier National Express where you could start the great trip in Chicago, head on an overnight journey on the Empire Builder out to Glacier National Park for a few nights. Then before you know it, instead of adding, ending in Seattle, you go from Seattle, then we combine Vancouver and Victoria. So we can take two packages, which is the two maps that you see right there, are two different packages, combine itineraries. They can start from your local hometown Amtrak station for any of you who don't like to fly. However, if you do like to fly and you don't mind flying, well, certainly you can book flights on your own or your local travel agent can book flights for you as well as the entire package. So you can create a vacation designed specifically for yourselves. Now, before I get into our most popular rail vacations, where certainly you could take advantage of this exciting flash sale we have going on right now, let me kind of highlight some of the uh, seating and sleeping accommodations on board the train. And before I do, packing for the train. Now, some of you may know this, but did you know you are allowed up to two free carry-on bags and two free checked P 
pieces of luggage. And by the way, the luggage can be up to 50, 50, 50 pounds each. Two pieces of luggage, two carry-on bags per person. Here's the my favorite two words, everyone, for free. Okay, last time I checked, most of the airlines, there is a charge to bring luggage, not when you travel on board with Amtrak Vacation. So let's take a look at the onboard accommodations. And the first category I want to show everyone is our coach accommodation. So rest assured, everyone, even when you're traveling during the day on any exciting rail vacation that you're interested in, you have lots of leg room, okay, plenty of uh, space on board in coach seating. As you can see above the overhead uh, of the folks sitting down, there's plenty of space to store any of your carry-on bags. There's also a section in the front and back of each of the coach cars to store your luggage as well. But one of the best highlights I love mentioning when it comes to traveling on board with Amtrak Vacations, there are no middle seats on board the train. Let me repeat that, everyone. There are no middle seats on board the train. So unlike if any of us were flying on an airline where, again, we could get stuck in the middle seat, on board with Amtrak Vacations, there's two extra large seats on one side and two extra large seats on the other side. So again, there are no middle seats. And as you can see in coach accommodations, what's included on the right-hand side Reclining seats, storage for luggage, access to the dining car and sightseeing lounge car. And yes, you can bring your own snacks and food on board the train, regardless what category that you are in. Now, what I love, and again, I mentioned it earlier, and it's one of the top six reasons why so many people worldwide love traveling with us is, folks, you have plenty of freedom to get out of your seats and move around the cabin, move around the train, stretch your legs, go to the observation car. Now. Obviously, our flash sale applies right here, right now, starting today. Only goes for uh, the end of next week. So if you are thinking of any exciting trip in the United States, especially to the national parks, and you're traveling overnight on board the train, here is two of your greatest options, okay? First one is Roomette. Now, Roomette, just so everyone knows, it is our most popular and our most affordable category of any sleeping accommodation on board the train. Now, I've traveled in many uh, different uh, accommodations, both roomettes, coach seating, as well as bedrooms, which I'll get to in a minute. Very, very spacious. Now, if you look at the diagram in the bottom left-hand corner, as you can see, it is bunk bed style. Now, what do you not see inside of a roomette? What you don't see is you don't see a toilet or a shower. Now, again, remember, it's our most popular and our most affordable. Why? Because right down the hallway, just like you'd have it at your own homes, there's toilets and showers available, and they're only available to folks that are in roomettes or bedrooms, okay? Only available to folks that are in roomettes or bedrooms. Now, as you can see the diagram, it is bunk bed style. During the day, however, it does open up, the lower bunk bed opens up, and here's a better view of what it looks like, and it folds into two chairs that face each other. As you can see, you get a large picturesque window, two comfy seats, two comfy beds, outlets, there's a fold-down table that you can play cards on. Uh, if you're traveling with a, a, a guest, roomettes do fit two people inside of a room, okay, inside of a roomette, two people fit inside, but again, very spacious. And I will mention anyone that's in a roomette or a bedroom, you also have um, access to any available coach seat during the day at no additional charge. So if you want to just, you know, um, you know, move around the train and sit in different areas, you do have that flexibility to sit in available coach seat. Or like I do many times, I just enjoy, enjoy the scenery right from the comfort of my own roomette. But a big highlight, again, all meals are included. I'll hit on that. I'll touch on that in just a little bit. Now, you know yourselves the best. If you want your own private toilet and shower inside of your room, no worries, everyone. We have you covered. That is a bedroom. Now, obviously, bedrooms are a little additional charge, but again, with our flash sale going on right here, right now, again, only going until the end of next week to travel anytime this year, here's your opportunity to take advantage of either a roomette or a bedroom. And as you can see in the diagram in the bottom left-hand corner, it does have its own private uh, toilet and shower. So just a recap of a bedroom. Recap, obviously bedrooms are gonna be a little larger in size, so they do fit 
uh, up to two adults and a small child. So I'm going to give you an example, everyone. I just traveled recently. Some of you may have traveled as well on the auto train. It's actually the only train in the United States that you can bring your car on board the train. And we traveled down to Florida and I had two bedrooms because I'm a family of five. So my wife and I and three children. I have two smaller children, so um, each child went in the lower bed with my wife and I in one room, and my uh, my wife in one room with my one of my children, and myself in the other room with uh, another one of uh, my children. And we actually had an adjoining room, which is available on certain departures, certain um, areas within the United States. So uh, lots of uh, flexibility. Now I will mention we also have handicap accessible rooms available. Those are on a limited basis, but if you do need a handicap accessible room, just let us know. Bedrooms includes all room at amenities. However, again, it does have an in-room toilet, a sofa that converts to a bed, an armchair, room for two suitcases, as well as its own private sink and vanity. Now, again, we want you to relax and enjoy the views in all the different areas of the train, including the lounge car. You know, one of my favorite highlights, everybody, I will tell you, um, just having traveled recently with my family, was actually playing a game of Uno. Uh, I'm sure many of you have played a game of Uno or playing cards uh, right here in the lounge car. You know, and I always say, as great as it is nowadays with so much technology, sometimes it's nice to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the the comfort and friendship of your own friends and family, as well as passengers on board the train. Now, where you definitely want to take advantage of is the observation car, especially um, for those of you wanting to travel out to the beautiful United States National Parks. The observation car, folks, this is free of charge, okay? Does not cost any additional charge to be in the observation car. So definitely make sure you travel here and you will spend some time here in the nice glass dome rail uh, area where you can view uh, so all the sights along the way and see the country right from the comfort of the window of the train itself. Now, as I mentioned, if you are in either a roomette, a bedroom, or a handicap accessible room, folks, all your meals are included during the overnight journey on board the train. So from the city you depart from until the city you arrive in, whatever meals are offered during that overnight journey, you will get those included at no additional charge. Again, but you have to be booked in either a roomette, a bedroom, or a handicap accessible room. It's order off the menu, okay? There's a waiter, waitress on board. You could pick and choose whatever you would like. Okay, for meals, if any of you have any special dietary requests, just let us or let your local travel agent know, and we will help you make those arrangements. So as promised, let's move into our most popular rail vacations out to the national park. So all aboard, everybody. And the first package I'm going to highlight is actually one of our top three most popular packages we have in all of the United States, folks. This is our Grand National Parks that includes Yellowstone, Yosemite, and the Grand Canyon, three amazing national parks. Now, I'm going to highlight this particular trip because this will serve as a good example for all the other trips that I highlight. If you're looking at this package and you're thinking, okay, well, it's round trip from Chicago. How do I get to Chicago? It's actually very easy. Any trip can start right from your local Amtrak station. So again, if any of you don't like to fly or you don't want to drive, okay, we can start you right from your local Amtrak station and bring you in and uh, to and from Chicago. Or again, you have that option if you choose to book flights on your own or through your local travel agent um, where you can fly into Chicago O'Hare Airport or Midway. And then when you travel on this trip, if you look at all the red lines, everyone with the number one in a red triangle, that just lets you know that's an overnight on board the train, everyone. That's an overnight on board the train. And what's special about this trip not only do you have three amazing national parks, everyone, but you also have three amazing train experiences. The first one being on the California Zephyr, followed by the Coast Starlight. Before you know it, you're on the Southwest Chief, okay? And those are opportunities to upgrade if you choose, whenever you see the number one, the red triangle, to either a roomette or a bedroom. As I mentioned, though, this trip is special because you have three amazing national parks. Now, one of the first parks we visit is Yellowstone National Park. Now, the train, folks, does not go, the train does not physically go up to Yellowstone, but 
you travel there uh, via motor coach sightseeing tour from Salt Lake City. So from Salt Lake City, we bring all of you up into Yellowstone. Now, these are independent trips, so you have the flexibility to kind of come and go as you'd like. However, when we do arrive at some of the beautiful national parks, everyone, on those particular uh, national parks on certain days, either for a half a day or a full day, you will have a guided tour for that specific uh, time that you're there, either one of the days or two of the days, uh, again, either a half a day or a full day with a local tour guide, a local ranger, and he or she will take you throughout um, the different areas. So as an example, in Yellowstone, you'll have a sightseeing tour of the lower loop. Now, when either you or your local travel agent, when they book these exciting trips with us, I, I have a slogan here, and that is, we know because we go. There's some of our staff in the bottom left-hand corner who traveled recently out to Yellowstone. But as I mentioned, this trip also includes Yosemite National Park. Now, when you travel to Yosemite, everyone, this is also a motor coach sightseeing tour from San Francisco. And the reason why being is, again, the train does not physically go to Yosemite, but we still include it. Your driver, he or she is also your tour guide, and this is a full day guided tour. The last but certainly not least, one of the most iconic national parks in the world is the beautiful Grand Canyon. Now, unlike Yellowstone and Yosemite, the Grand Canyon operates all year long, okay? Um, considered to be one of the seven wonders of the world. And funny enough, speaking of the number seven, everyone, over seven million people visited the Grand Canyon last year. Now, what makes this trip, in my opinion, very special is not only are you traveling on three amazing trains with Amtrak vacations, but you also get a chance to travel on the Grand Canyon Railway. And folks, that's the train, the, the Wild West uh, iconic train that goes from Williams, Arizona to the Grand Canyon. So that is your main form of transportation into the Grand Canyon. It's only about a two hour train ride right from Williams, Arizona into the south rim of the Grand Canyon. And once you arrive, you'll then have an afternoon guided tour, otherwise known as our motor, crew, motor coach freedom tour of the Grand Canyon South Rim. This trip itself, everyone, is 13 days, 12 nights, starting as low as $28.99 per person. Now, all the pricing that you see here today, as well as on our website or in our brochures, pricing is based on double occupancy. So per person, two to a room. The only items not included with any of the pricing that you see is just how you get to and from the starting and ending city, as well as if you want to upgrade, which again, I'm gonna highly recommend if you wanna upgrade to either a roomette or a bedroom. Let's continue on with some of our most popular national parks. The next one is known as our Grand National Parks Discovery on the California Zephyr. So. The package I showed everyone, as you saw, it was round trip from Chicago. It included three amazing national parks. Here we have a package that starts in the great city of Denver. However, it ends in the great city of San Francisco. So again, we can start you right from your local hometown Amtrak station and travel you out to Denver. And then when you're done, bring you from San Francisco back home. Again, if you don't want to drive or you don't like to fly, or again, you can book your flight either on your own or through your local travel agent into Denver, and then back home from San Francisco. Now, this trip is exciting because, again, starts out in, you know, one of the most iconic mile-high city. That's Denver. You'll have a sightseeing tour of the Rocky Mountain National Park. And again, on certain days of our trips, some of these sightseeing tours uh, that you'll have, they'll, they will have a local tour guide, a local a park ranger who will take you throughout. This is a great treat. We include Grand Junction, all right, where not only when we go there, You'll have a sightseeing tour of Arches and Canyonlands, as well as Zion and Bryce National Park before traveling over to Yellowstone. Okay, well, we'll also have a sightseeing tour included. And typically, as I mentioned, your tour guide, he or she is with you uh, either for the full day or a half a day, and they have stops along the way. Usually it leaves in the morning and then goes either a half a day or it's a full day uh, tour for that particular day. There's, again, plenty of opportunity to take pictures, videos. You'll meet some other folks uh, also that will be joining you on some of these uh, different uh, guided tours on those specific days. And then before you know it, it's Yosemite National Park, where, again, you'll have a full day guided tour. Here's an example of the motor coach bus that will bring all of you from San Francisco out to Yosemite. 
And again, this is a full day guided tour. Your driver is your tour guide. And there again is some more of our staff that uh, traveled to Yosemite recently. So again, just a great package starting in Denver, however, ending in, in San Francisco on the California Zephyr. Now, some of you may also want to do a similar trip, but yet uh, keep it round trip again from Chicago. Well, here's our Grand National Parks of the Southwest. It's a little bit shorter, a little less expensive. Arches and Canyonlands National Park, certainly a big highlight. Then before you know it, it's off to Zion National Park, okay? Absolutely amazing. Now, in some of these national parks, everyone, because the train does not physically go to Bryce or Zion, no need to worry because what we do is we include a shuttle service um, that will take you in and out of some of these national parks, whether it's Zion, whether it's Bryce. And typically, they're a sedan service. They'll fit anywhere from six uh, to eight uh, folks, so it's it's more intimate and it's a nice way to experience some of these national parks that you really don't want to miss out on, uh, certainly being in this beautiful area of the western United States. So as you can see, seven days, a little bit shorter, certainly a little bit less expensive. And again, the only items not included would just be if you want to upgrade to a room at or a bedroom during any overnight journey on board the train, as well as uh, the cost to get to and from the starting and ending city. Now, here's another package that starts in one great city, but ends in another. And folks, I actually have some personal pictures I wanted to share with you right here, right now, because I actually had the pleasure of doing this trip, everyone, in September of 2017, and it was fantastic. By the way, I did want to mention, too, not only on this trip, but any trip that you see here, when you see the number two or the number three in a round black circle, that just lets you know how many nights that you're staying in each of the cities or each of the national parks, which again, because you're able to customize any trip, you also have the ability to add extra nights or take out nights, depending on how many days you're looking to travel and what your budget is, okay? Either us or your local travel agent, again, can help you take care of this. Folks, welcome to my trip that I had the pleasure of doing, and that is this specific trip, okay? Two nights in Chicago. By the way, we use an arrangement of hotels, so you have a choice of either a Holiday Inn located right downtown, very affordable, uh, to the Westin Hotel located on Michigan Avenue, to the Palmer House, which is really a four and a half to five star, five star, five diamond being the, the most upscale. You get to pick and choose where you wanna stay. Obviously, if you're in Chicago, you gotta get the deep dish pizza, right? Um, when in Chicago, right? Uh, before you know it, it's time to board the Empire Builder. That is the picture of what you see right there, that train on the right-hand side, just a massive, large train, one of the top three most iconic train rides in all of the world, okay? Absolutely amazing, um, let alone the United States. Top left-hand corner, that was uh, our attendant that we had who was dedicated to us with some of our staff. As I mentioned, meals, you can order off the menu. There's a picture of uh, the menu that we had during uh, dinner time, okay? Absolutely amazing. Before you know it, we arrived in Glacier National Park. And folks, you can too. Now, here's the biggest um, thing to keep in mind with Glacier National Park. And again, some of you may be aware of this. Glacier National Park, everyone, only runs, it only operates during the months of June, July, August, and September. It literally only goes for four months, okay? Four months. So if you have any dreams of traveling to Glacier National Park, don't even wait for me to finish today's presentation. Pick up that phone, give us or call your local travel agent and get yourself all settled so we can get you confirmed on board the train as well as more importantly in the lodge. Now, speaking of the lodge, everyone, the picture that you're looking at here, the one in the middle, that is inside of the lobby of Glacier Park Lodge. Now, some of you may have heard or been to um, the hotel in Walt Disney World known as Fort Wilderness, okay? That may ring a bell for many of you, Fort Wilderness. That lodge in Florida, in Disney, uh, Disney World was inspired by Glacier Park Lodge. That is what you're looking at right here, okay? On the top right-hand corner, that is a view of uh, the, the train station directly behind the flag from the front steps of Glacier Park Lodge. It literally, again, is 
approximately 209 steps away from Glacier Park Lodge is the Amtrak station. And by the way, the Amtrak station is a picture of it is in the bottom right hand corner. That's myself with some of our colleagues uh, that I traveled uh, to uh, this area with. Fantastic. As well as on the bottom left hand corner uh, inside of the restaurant. Now, if you look in the top left hand corner, it's actually getting me hungry as I'm looking at it. Does anyone know the name of that delicious dessert, which, by the way, is only iconic in the states of Montana and Idaho? Does anyone know the name of that delicious dessert? Now, I'll give you a hint, everybody. It's not, let me repeat, it's not blueberry pie. Who here knows? It is huckleberry pie. Now, some of you may have uh, experienced huckleberry pie. It's iconic. It's a, it's a berry uh, native to the states of Montana and Idaho. Very, very popular in the Glacier National Park region, and it was delicious. It, it, it took me all the effort I could put in to make sure I took that picture before I ate it as fast as possible because it was so good. Now, I mentioned whether it's Glacier National Park, whether it's Yellowstone, Yosemite, Grand Canyon, on certain days you will have a guided tour and you'll also have an opportunity to either meet a local ranger, as I did right here in the top uh, right-hand corner. That was actually a picture of myself with the local park ranger at Glacier National Park. Or, um, again, your tour guide, he or she, is also your driver. So um, this is known as the Red Bus Tour. It actually will pick you up right from the front doorstep, everyone, of Glacier Park Lodge. Absolutely fantastic. Picks you up, makes, make, makes maybe two or three stops along the way to Glacier National Park, and it's a full day guided tour for uh, on one of the particular days that you're in Glacier National Park. And um, the roof opens up so you can get fresh air. Uh, there is stops, again, made along the way for photo opportunities, videos, also restroom um, breaks as well to, to use the washroom, restroom, toilets. Um, so again, very, very comfortable. Uh, and again, uh, th these uh, particular tours, the, the red bus typically only fits about uh, 15 or 16 uh, folks in the bus itself. So it's a very small group experience, just a fun, fun uh, adventure for each and every one of you. But again, remember, it only operates June, July, August, and September. So again, if anyone's interested in Glacier, National Park, definitely let us or let your local travel agent know. I will give you one other little fun trivia that I found out. Our driver, and actually all the drivers of the Red Bus Tours, they are known as jammers. Now, some of you may have heard that term before. The way they got their name is back in the 1920s and 1930s when they first started operating. Um, the, the shift, they drive with a shift, a shift stick, uh, used to get jammed. So that's how they got their nicknames, Jammers. Obviously, today they they run nice and smooth, but they still kept that uh, that fun little nickname for the drivers. And then before you know it, everybody, welcome to Seattle, home of the Public Market Center, otherwise known as Pike's Marketplace. It's also home to one of the most famous and iconic global coffee brands in the world. Folks, it's home to the first Starbucks that ever opened up back in 1971, and it's located right here in the Public Market Center. It's also home of the fish market, where some of you may have been to Seattle or seen uh, seen this uh, particular area on television. Uh, they throw large fish over the tourist heads. It's a just a fantastic experience. There's myself again with some of my uh, colleagues on the right-hand side at the Seattle Space Needle, also home to the Chihuly Garden and Glass Museum. Just a fantastic trip, everyone. Ten days, nine nights. So again, as you can see, some of our packages, they start in one city and return in the same city. They're round trip from certain cities or they start in one great city and end in another. And again, the beautiful part is any trip that we have that I'm highlighting here today or any on our website or in our brochure, any trip can be customized to start right at your local hometown Amtrak station and end at your local hometown Amtrak station. Again, if you don't want to fly or you don't want to drive, or again, you can book a, a flight one way. You could travel one way by rail and then fly home. Again, it can be exactly the way you want, how you want. Now, we do have some shorter packages. So here's an example of one of them. And we have many different getaway packages, whether it's Yosemite, Yellowstone, Glacier, Arches and Canyonlands. 
uh, that are three, four, and five days. Here's an example of our six-day Grand Canyon getaway round trip from Chicago, okay? By the way, the name of this train is called the Southwest Chief, and you're two nights at the Grand, uh, the Grand Canyon uh, Hotel, and then uh, the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel, and then you're one night in the Grand Canyon. Now, again, if anyone wants to add extra nights inside the Grand Canyon, we can easily do that. But look at this package, everyone. Six days, five nights. Look at that price. Here's what I always say when I come to this package. It's more expensive for you to stay home for a week than it is to see one of the most iconic wonders of the world right here in the Western United States. So here is our Grand Canyon. And again, unlike Glacier National Park, which only operates four months a year, Grand Canyon, you can travel anytime from January all the way until December, okay? So you have um, lots of, uh, of options as far as when you would like to travel. And speaking of options, again, just a reminder, everyone, any of these packages, you get to choose between three, four, and five star hotels or three, four, and five diamond hotels. So again, depending on what your budget is and the type of hotels that you like to stay at, um, we can help you or again, your local travel agent. Now, I did want to mention, again, our website filled with great uh, packages, not only um, to tell you more about the ones that I highlighted here today, but certainly any others. How do you book any of these exciting packages? Folks, the best way is just pick up that phone. Our agents are here waiting to help each and every one of you. The phones are ringing off the hook as we speak. Again, you can book any of these trips as well through your local travel agent who, again, can also book flights for you, either round trip where you can do the train trip in the middle or one way. So again, however you uh, choose to book any of these trips. Now, uh, before I highlight our flash sale again, I did want to mention we also have what we call our everyday discounts, everyone. Okay. These apply. Now, only one of these applies per person. So for any of you that are 65 and older, you can qualify for up to 10% off on the rail portion of a package. So whatever the cost of the rail ticket is within a package, if you're 65 or older, you can qualify for up to 10% off. For any of you looking to travel with your children or grandchildren, if they are between the ages of 2 and 12, they can qualify for up to 55 Oh, That's not a typo, everyone. 50% off on the rail portion of a package. And any active duty military, yourselves and your spouses can also qualify for a discount up to 10% off. So again, folks, we travel all over the United States. Again, in particular, the national parks is by far our most popular region in all of the United States because, again, we can get space in those hard-to-get space lodges inside the national parks, okay, which is really where you want to be. So here is my question for all of you, and I'm going to give you a minute, okay? On the right-hand side of your screen, everyone, okay, on the right-hand side of your screen, we're going to have a little fun here for a minute. In your question box, and I see, I see a lot of you have already been typing in a bunch of questions, which is fantastic, all right? Take a minute, everyone, okay? On the right-hand side of your screen, I'd like everybody to type in what rail vacation or destination are you interested in and when? Just take it a little survey. Have some fun with me. What rail vacation destination are you interested in and when are you looking to travel? So I'm going to give everyone about a minute. Please feel free. Okay, I'm already <laughs> seeing lots of answers coming through already. Fantastic. Okay, good. If you could just take a minute. This is just a fun little survey for us to just help each and every one of you and really as a way of helping us to continue to do the best job that we can to support all of our travelers and our travel agents worldwide. So just take a minute, if you'd be so kind, just type in what rail vacation and destination are you interested in and when. If you want to type this in again in your question box on the right hand side, if everyone could take that. Thank, oh, thank you all. Uh, by the way, we have a fantastic turnout today. This is just uh awesome and uh again we can't thank you enough so please feel free to type those away yep getting lots of great uh great uh, answers and lots of great destinations and uh and by the way i am going to save some time um at the end to answer any additional questions that you have as well as any questions any of you have uh typed in as i've been going through today's presentation so stick around because I, I want to make sure i do my very best to answer uh any questions that you may have so um yeah, this is great. Seeing lots of great, great uh, answers. So um, please feel free to type those away. All right. So before I open it up 
to any uh, questions any of you have asked, okay, or any additional questions that you may have, let me highlight again the most important and exciting part of today's presentation. And again, I hope uh, for those of you that joined myself right at the beginning, you were able to see this picture. But if you join join me a little uh, a little uh, later into the presentation, folks, we are running a flash sale right here, right now. It started this morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? Here's what it is, okay? I just wanna highlight this one more time, all right? Any of you that are looking to travel on any trip in the United States, not only the national parks, as long as it's a package, which means it's gotta be three or more components. So what does that mean? As long as it includes train, hotel, and a sightseeing tour. As an example, that would consist to be a package. Or if it's train, hotel, and a meal, as long as it's three or more components, and obviously you saw some great packages that we have, and again, any of them can be customized, as long as it's three or more components, it is a new reservation, and you upgrade to either a roomette or a bedroom during your overnight journey, we will take an additional $200 off the total price. Again, if you upgrade to a roomette on any package, and if you upgrade to a bedroom, we're going to take $300 off per couple, okay? So otherwise, it's $100 per person for anyone upgraded to a roomette, or it's a $150 per person for any of you upgrading to a bedroom. And all you need to do, everybody, pick up that phone today, give us a call or contact your local travel agent, and you can take advantage of these additional savings. And all you need to do is just travel anytime, anywhere you'd like in the United States this year, as long as you upgrade to a sleeper. So I'm going to leave this picture on um, my presentation right here right now because I see we have a ton of fantastic questions and by the way thank you all so much for your answers I think that's just awesome and um, again we will help you any way we can so let's see here so we have uh, from, <laughs> actually first question thanks Dave how much are deposits uh, deposits actually they're as minimal as only a hundred uh, to two hundred and fifty dollars uh, or more per person on an average. Obviously, if it's a little longer or more complex trips, the deposits could be a little more. Uh, but on an average, I think $250 is a pretty accurate amount um, as well. So, yep, definitely. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, from, from Donna. Hi, Donna. We have a couple questions. Uh, is there a tour that stays in many, uh, many Glacier Lodge? And can you rent uh, a car in the west uh, part of Yellowstone. So yes, so we have packages that already include car rentals. Uh, we also use Many Glacier uh, Lodge in addition to Glacier National Park. So that's uh, a, a Glacier Park Lodge. So that's would be in Glacier uh, National Park. So yep. Um, and let's see, we have Peter. Hi, Peter. Uh, we got a, a bunch of questions from Peter, which is great. So I'll go through these, Peter, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer all of them, okay? So um, let's see. Will Amtrak help when we arrive at the destination? Uh, local transportation. So, uh, Peter, yes. Yeah. So, as an example, at Glacier, uh, at Glacier National Park, uh, there is a, a a van service. Obviously, you're so close to the lodge itself that you're able to walk to the lodge right from the train station. But they do have a shuttle van that takes passengers to and from the lodges. Now. Every destination we have, some may have a, a van or a service. Others, you're either a short walk or a short cab ride. So just depending on which national park or which destination you're interested in, some there will be some type of transportation. Because again, remember, all our trips are all independent um, style vacations where you have that flexibility to kind of come and go as you'd like, but yet there's also um, some structure and guided tours on certain days of the trip. So depending on which destination you're interested in, Peter, um, any of our vacation consultants or your local travel agent can can help you to either arrange that or to let you know uh, if it's included or if it's just a nice short cab ride. I will tell you, most of the major train stations, uh, whether it's for Peter or anyone, um, there is uh, typically taxis and cabs right outside the train station, certainly throughout the major cities. So it's very easy to get uh, in and around. Um, will there be uh, assistance for disabled people? So depending on which national park you're interested in, um, that's where, again, either us or your local travel agent can help you um, it, with that. So again, just depending on which one uh, you're interested in. Uh, next one, what if the train is late and you miss a hotel reservation on the tour? Great question, Peter. So if um, if that were to happen, what we do is we just help to rebook um, uh, an extra night either at the end or we will uh, 
you know, usually in that case, do it as a reimbursement uh, type of scenario. Whereas, again, if you miss uh, a particular day because the train's late for whatever reason, um, then you just let us know or you let your local travel agent know and, uh, and we'll give you either some type of voucher or reimbursement as well. Okay. Great question. Uh, let's see, got a couple more over here from Peter. Um, uh, what is the weather on uh, like at your tour uh, location, uh, as an example? What is the weather? So again, depending on the time of the year, uh, it just depends on the weather. I always say uh, spring, you know, spring, summer, and fall. Definitely for Yellowstone, Yosemite, and Glacier, spring, summer, and fall, you can't go wrong. For Grand Canyon, you know, if any of you are traveling with your children or grandchildren, then obviously the summer is a great time as well as any school vacation, because again, Grand Canyon goes all year long. So if you're like myself and you're located maybe in an area of the United States that could get a little bit cooler or, or snowier uh, during the months of January to March or November, December, then of course, um, a place like the Grand Canyon, uh, the weather's beautiful in the months of February and uh, and April, as an example. So um, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, and then uh, let's see, last one. Does trip insurance cover complete reimbursement? Yeah, great question, Peter. So it just depends on when any of the passengers would cancel. So um, basically what we would do is we do a partial cash back and a partial voucher towards a future trip um, minus the cost of the insurance. Now, we do offer a trip insurance, which I highly recommend for everyone joining myself here today and again we got a fantastic turnout um always you know our, our slogan here is it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it really what it is is it gives you peace of mind very minimal charge okay depending on which trip you're interested in but that allows you to cancel for any reason whatsoever up until um the business day prior to departure and again depending on when you cancel uh would be depending on the amount of uh, cash back and the amount of the voucher that you would receive. Rule of thumb is the closer in that you were to cancel to departure, the more of a voucher that you will receive back. The farther out, the more cash back as well as voucher that you'll receive. Okay, so just depends on uh, when that would happen. Okay, great questions, Peter. Thank you. All right, so uh, let's see here. Um, oh, yeah, okay, so he, Discount on Handicap Accessible, yes. So uh, discount on Handicap Accessible, the same uh, uh, amount would apply uh, for uh, a roomette. So whatever uh, and whatever package anyone needs for a Handicap Accessible, you could take $200 off per couple, okay? And that will apply for yours, okay? Let's see. Uh, hi, Donna. Uh, can you pick your bedroom yes you can on any package uh, any trip yep you can have our vacation consultant or your local travel agent um, try to confirm it right there and then you just let us know no problem um, uh, is the map available online or downloading yes it is absolutely so if you go on our Amtrak vacations website amtrakvacations.com you can uh, you could definitely download uh, we have a downloadable map available so yeah please feel free to everyone and again that's www.amtrak vacations.com all right let's see these are great questions uh peter help with luggage yes so any of the staff uh on board with amtrak as well as at the train stations as well as at the hotels um there pe there's people there always ready and willing to help any of our travelers so uh never an issue uh, if anything you know i always say say just as a suggestion and you don't have to um you know a little tip here and there uh for some of the the staff is always just a nice little uh, gesture because then obviously they'll help you know anytime throughout the journey as well as even the hotel staff all right good questions everyone these are fantastic sabina um what is the shortest and cheapest vacation from sacramento you know great question sabina obviously you're not far from you know san francisco you have yosemite uh nearby you could certainly travel down the coast on the coast starlight so yeah we could definitely uh help you with that or your local travel agent sure uh, Cecilia, in the roomette, is there a window for the person in the upper bunk to see? Great question. So uh, in the evening, the upper bunk, uh, obviously in the evening, it's it's uh, darker. So if you want to see the views from the day, then of course you'd be uh, sitting down below during the day to see the views inside of a roomette or a bedroom. Um, any of the upper bunks uh, is up towards the top. So 
there's no window right there. Um, so it would be beneath the upper bunk. OK, um, but again, usually during the day, that's what a lot of folks are doing. there, walking around the train, going to the observation car, the dining car. Certainly, again, if you're in a roomette or a bedroom, you can also sit in any available coach seating. And by the way, did I mention to everyone, uh, my family and I, as I mentioned, we just went on an overnight journey down to Florida. Um, and some of you may know this, but I thought this was pretty, uh, pretty cool. Um, any of you that are in a roomette a bedroom or a handicap accessible room, you actually are allowed to bring your own alcoholic beverages on board the train. Now, it does need to be consumed from the privacy of your own room, okay? But anyone who's in a sleeper, you are allowed to bring, let's say, a bottle of wine as an example. Um, but again, you would need to, uh, any, any of it that you'd want to consume, it would need to be consumed from the privacy of your own uh, roomette, bedroom, or handicap accessible room. Okay, let's see. Um, Sabina, hi Sabina. Okay, um, we only eat halal meat. Uh, do you serve that? Uh, also, do you have uh, Indian vegetarian? So anybody who has any special uh, meal requests or, or um, dietary restrictions, just let us know or let your local travel agent know. And Amtrak's always very uh, flexible to to help um, arrange any. Uh, specific uh, or dietary meals ahead of time for you. So, yep, just let us know. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, hi, hi, um, okay, we got another one. Uh, does handicap uh, room provide? Uh, what what does handicap room provide, and does it cost more? Uh, so, yeah, handicap accessible room. It's going to be a similar price to a bedroom, which would be uh, more expensive than a roomette. But obviously, uh, it does have room for anyone who may need a wheelchair to to go in and out. Also, anyone who's in um, handicap accessible room, if you're not able uh, to to walk to the uh, dining car to have breakfast, lunch, or dinner the attendant, uh, he or she will bring food to you in your room. So anyone who's in a handicap accessible room, um, the attendant uh, is able to bring any of your meals to your room as well, okay? So just something to keep in mind, no worries at all. Okay, let's see, okay, hi Sabina. Okay, uh, we are pressed for time, but we wanna go uh, once uh, Amtrak and enjoy the scenery. Ah, thank you. Please let us know the best and shortest national park options. So I'm going to suggest, Sabina, obviously because you're in Sacramento, um, I'm going to suggest myself either uh, Yosemite or Yellowstone because you could travel on the California Zephyr. That's the train I went on. It actually departs and or arrives out of Emeryville, which is, of course, not too far from Sacramento. Um, but we can connect you right from Sacramento through Emeryville. Well, then again, you can take advantage of either of those national parks. That's going to give you the shortest and least expensive national parks, and you can't go wrong. Either of those are just, they're fantastic. Um, obviously, Yosemite is your closest and least expensive, if that's what you're looking for. Okay. Um, thank you, Sabina. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there transportation uh, from the station to the hotel? Um, how and where do we get it? Uh, I have uh, I have Grand Canyon up plan. Great, Carol. Yeah, so again, um, depending on the cities, most of the cities and destinations, um, the lodges and hotels are either a short uh, walk from the train station or a short cab ride. So most of the destinations you would just get to the hotel either by walking. All the hotels and lodges we use, we always try to use hotels and lodges located right near the train station. So it's either a short walk or a short cab ride. In certain destinations, such as Glacier National Park, we do have a shuttle service that's provided um, by Glacier Park Lodge that, again, can bring people to and from. So just depending on uh, where and when uh, you look at to travel. But typically, people will just either walk or get a, a, uh, get a short cab ride, okay? Great questions, everyone. Let's see. Uh, can you upgrade on the Grand Canyon train to the observation deck? Yes, Mary, you can. Absolutely. In fact, I highly encourage that for any of you looking at the Grand Canyon, um, any Grand Canyon package, you want to consider upgrading to uh, either the dome car or first class on board the Grand Canyon Railway. Our pricing is based in the coach seating, just like it is on board any of our Amtrak vacation packages. But we do offer an upgrade on the Grand Canyon Railway, just like we do on board any Amtrak vacation. So either uh, the dome rail class or first class. And that's just going to give you the big glass picturesque windows. You also will have snacks and drink, uh, you know, soda, coffee, tea. Uh, as an example, okay. Uh, let's see. Great, great questions, everyone. Let's see. Um, 
Let's see. Da -da -da. Okay, Carol, I know sometimes uh, the, some of the uh, Texas Eagle freight trains also uh, compete uh, sometimes. How is that as far as timing? You know, Carol, I will say, and this, this is good for everybody, as I mentioned, I've been on board about six years myself, and uh, probably about three to four years ago, uh, Amtrak went through a whole uh, reassessment of all the train times in the United States, and really um, what they did is they adjusted a lot of the times um, to work around the freight train. So I will tell you, it's very rare. Uh, it's definitely become more and more of a rarity that you hear a lot of different train delays. Can they happen periodically, once in a while, here and there? But um, but typically it's very, very minimal. Uh, and that's because they adjusted uh, the times uh, a few years back to really avoid and work around the freight train. So great, great question, Carol. So uh, let's see. Final payment. When is final payment due? Final payment on any trip is due at 60 days prior. So let me give you an example, everyone. Really, all that's due when you book the trip, especially if you want to take advantage of this flash sale, is just the initial deposit, which, again, is very minimal. That's all that's due initially. Then from there, if you want to make payments towards your final payment, you can do that and call back uh, you know, every month, every other month leading up to your trip. But final payment on any trip is not due until uh, 60 days prior to departure. Okay. Uh, great questions, everyone. Uh, let's see. Okay. We've got a lot of folks that have uh, booked their trips or planning to book their trips, which is great. So Again, this flash sale is fantastic. We don't have this that often at all. So when we do, we want to make sure to let all of our travelers know uh, worldwide. Let's see. Uh, Juliana. Hi, Juliana. What is the cost for an upgrade to a roomette? On the Grand National Parks, uh, Juli uh, Juliana, it just depends on when you're looking to go. So prices are live, so they can change. So depending on when you're looking to go will be the, the cost of the difference. So my advice, again, really feel free to pick up that phone. Again, our agents are here waiting to help each and every one of you or your local travel agent. He or she can help you with that and kind of give you an idea as well. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I, again, one thing to keep in mind with Roomette, it is the most affordable and the most popular sleeping uh, accommodation on board the train. Bedrooms, again, are going to be more expensive than Roomette, but again, just to kind of give you an idea. All right, let's see. Uh, okay. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Um, I read somewhere that if we purchase a trip, which includes a bedroom or roomette, that we can use certain lounges for no charge. Uh, absolutely, Catherine. So any of you that are in, again, roomettes, bedrooms, or handicap accessible rooms, you have access to the lounges. You have access to any available coach seat. And you get all your meals included at no additional charge. Really, the only items not included at meals would be any tips and gratuities for the waiter or waitress, as well as um, if you were to purchase any alcoholic beverages during dinner time. But again, you, you can bring your own alcoholic beverages, but they cannot be consumed outside of your room. Any um, liquor or any wine that you uh, consume would just need to be consume from the privacy of your own room, okay? Um, great question, Catherine, thank you. Uh, let's see, Da -da -da. okay. Um, uh, will we have any trouble getting to and from the station to hotel or where we need to be? Uh, great question, Dawn, not at all. The, it's actually very, very easy. I, I'm looking especially uh, regarding San Francisco, very, very easy. In fact, Emeryville, um, which is the major train in Northern California uh, to San Francisco is only about a 45 minute um, shuttle service. There's actually a motor coach bus. So um, if you're looking to do a trip out to San Francisco, that's included in the transfer. Otherwise there's taxis and cabs located right outside the train station as well as all throughout San Francisco. It's actually much easier uh, in many ways when you certainly are traveling in and out of some of the major cities such as uh, San Francisco. So anyway, ho hope, uh, hope that helps Dawn. Uh, let's see. Uh, where can I get a map showing the routes you have available? So right on our website, um, it's www.amtrackvacations.com. Uh, we have downloadable maps available. So you can just go on and you can uh, uh, click on one of our downloadable maps and then uh, you can receive a copy. All right. Uh, let's see here. OK, moving along. Uh, do we offer shared options on roomettes or bedrooms for single travelers? We do not, Carol. Uh, but I will say certainly, you know, uh, 
Uh, of course, we have, I want to say tw about 20 to 25% of our travelers are single travelers. So any of you looking to travel as a single, rest assured, um, that is almost a quarter of our travelers. That's how many single travelers we have. So obviously, if you're trying to save on cost, then, you know, my advice, of course, would be, you know, see if any of your friends or family would be interested. But, uh, but never be discouraged to travel on your own. We have tr single travelers all the time. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, great question. Let's see. Uh, do we need a national park pass? Uh, Sue, great question. You do not need a national park pass. They are available, uh, of course, it, one, once you're in the park, if you do want to purchase any. But on our tours, obviously, you'll be with the tour guide uh, or a park ranger for that particular day or a half a day, and they'll take you in and around uh, the park itself. And if you do, they can be purchased right at the park itself. Uh, very minimal cost as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are, uh, hi Fran, we are two couples traveling together in roomettes. Will, will we be able to eat together? And the answer is yes, absolutely. You will be able to. Um, so uh, if you're two, two, uh, two couples and you want to seat together, the, the seating seats up to four people. So all the, um, the, the booths in the, in the, the dining area, they fit up to four people. So as an example, when I went with my family, I'm a family of five, my wife and two children are at one booth and my son and I, um, were at the other booth. So, uh, but I will say it was fantastic. Even if, even if, or when any of you, whether you're traveling as singles or you're two people and you get, um, seated with, um, some other folks on the train you know folks i should have mentioned that's actually to me part of the exciting part of traveling on board any rail vacation is getting a chance to meet folks from really around the world and uh, really hearing their stories and where they come from and you know why they're traveling or where they're traveling to so uh, but but needless to say certainly yes if you want to be together no worries at all you can uh, sit seat uh, sit together the four of you you just let the um the waiter or waitress know and they'll uh, they'll find a booth for you Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Great question. Let's see. Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Is there any way to get over to Mount Rushmore? Yes. Give us a call. Um, there is, of course, it would involve uh, a rental car itself. The train does not physically go to Mount Rushmore, but we can try to help you or your local travel agent can with those arrangements. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I see a lot of folks, yeah, interested in certain types of trips. So yeah, definitely, um, whether it's you know, Yellowstone, Yosemite, Grand Canyon, Glacier, uh, I see Mount Rushmore, the Badlands. Um, yeah, just honest, sincerely give us a call or contact your local travel agent. Uh, and again, we have packages already put together, everyone, but any of them can also be customized as well. Okay. Uh, okay. Cost. Hi, Sue. Um, uh, please clarify costs uh, per person. Uh, or each. So whatever the prices that you see on any of these packages I highlighted in our brochure on our website, price is based on double occupancy. So price is per person. So if it's $12.99 um, per person double occupancy, that means it's $12.99 for the first person and $12.99 for the second person, both of them sharing a room. So it's uh, per person. Okay. I uh, hope that helps. So thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, what about single travelers? Obviously, yes. Again, we have tons of single travelers. The flash sale rate, everybody, the, the single traveler, uh, the, the rate would apply. All right. So definitely give us a call. We'll let you know um, any way we can. And yes, you will definitely get a discount as well. Okay. Uh, full payment, again, is due 60 days prior. Uh, oh, hey. Hi, Jim. I want a book. All right. Great. Again, folks, this is a fantastic sale. As I mentioned, we don't do these sales that often. So, you know, again, if you've ever dreamed of traveling cross country on rail or certainly out to the beautiful national parks, I want to travel again uh, with the Amtrak vacations. This is the time to do it. All right. Um, all right. Well, it looks like everybody, we are just about up with time. So I did want to say uh, today's presentation has been recorded. So all of you will receive a, cord a recording of it. Feel free to share it with your friends, family, certainly any of your other uh, folks who will also look at a travel. But most importantly, let me just highlight one last time. And if I didn't get to your questions, please don't even think twice. Pick up that phone. Give us a call or contact your local travel agent to answer any additional questions that you may have. But I did want to mention again our flash sale. So here it is, okay? Just one last time. 
any of you that book a new reservation, it has to be a new reservation as long as it's a package which includes three or more components. So either rail, hotel, sightseeing tour as an example, or rail, hotel, and a meal. As long as it's three or more components, and most importantly, you upgrade to either a roomette or a bedroom, okay? Then you could take advantage of these exciting flash sale discounts. So again, if it's a roomette, you could take $200 off the total cost. And if it's a bedroom, you could take $300 off the total cost. And folks, all you need to do is just pick up that phone and that's to travel anytime this year up until the end of 2019. So with that in mind, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation as much as I enjoyed presenting. Folks, thank you all for being such great participants. Thank you for your feedback. Again, give us a call or contact your local travel agent. And most importantly, we look forward to having you, your friends, and your family on board soon with Amtrak Vacations. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great rest of the day. Take care.